All right, let me ask you, if I were to take a CEO here in the United States of a big publicly traded company and lower the pitch of his voice by 25%, how much more dough is he gonna make a year? How much more money and salary a year? What would you guess? Before I tell you, in the comments below, make a guess. I'd be interested to see what your thoughts are on this. And before I get to the answer, I wanna go through another study that shows the exact same thing but at the end of the video, probably the most important part of this video is I'm gonna talk about what all of these studies miss because it's good data and it's good to understand, but there's a major elephant in the room that all these guys miss that I'm gonna talk about that I think is gonna bring a lot of clarity to your understanding about the power of your voice and your tonality. So they took recordings, audio recordings of past US presidents and they reduced the pitch, you know, on like some software on a computer they reduced it down and then they had a bunch of people listen to both talks and they said, tell us what you think about three attributes of the guy that you're listening to. Number one, leadership potential. Number two, dominance. And number three, integrity. Now that's pretty important. A man's integrity is an important thing to him and you wouldn't think that would have much of an association with somebody's voice, right? How much of a stand-up person they are, how strong their integrity is. What does it have to do with someone's voice? All three had a direct correlation with the pitch of the voice. When they lowered that past president's voice, every single time, all three of those categories went up. People assign so much power to the way that you talk and the way that you sound. Not so many people, they come to me and they say, yeah, but I was born with a poor voice. I just can't do anything about it. The voice that you're born with has very little to do with the power of your voice. Now, what these studies all miss is they look at the pitch, which is a factor in the way that your voice is perceived, but they miss all the other nuances that go in to the way that people hear your voice. Pitch is one thing, and I would argue a smaller thing than the aggregate of all these other things that you can learn to do to boost the power of your voice. So when people, when you start talking, people stop and listen. It commands that attention and respect. We'll be like, who's this guy? This guy sounds like somebody that I wanna talk to. This guy sounds like somebody that I can trust. Sounds like somebody who knows what he's talking about. I'm not gonna get into it in this video, but if it's something that you're trying to improve in, I suggest you go to vocalpowerbootcamp.com. I've got a video there that'll walk you through more of that. So what's the dollar amount? $187,000 a year more. There was a direct correlation with the pitch of the voice and how much dough they made up to that. 25% is almost 200 grand a year. So if you're saying, well, great, I can't control the pitch of my voice. No, you can't. But you can control all of these other aspects that these guys miss. I'm sure you've seen somebody or heard somebody, Jerry Seinfeld's a great example. That dude has one of the worst natural voices I've ever heard. It's so squeaky, it's so weak. I did not know before I got married that every single day of my life. But he's a stand-up comedian when he talks, his delivery is strong, he's convincing, he's funny, he's learned these other nuances that you can learn. So I want you to understand, pitch is very important, $200,000 a year more. But I bet if in that study, they went and broke down all of the other attributes, they could literally get to a one-to-one -one correlation between the earning power and the voice, but you need to look at these other aspects. Now, if you wanna hear a story about this in action, I was actually at a bar last weekend here in Dallas, Texas, where I had to use a strong voice to accomplish something that I needed to socially. I'll tell you the full story about it. You can click right here to check it out, and if you wanna check out that video on the vocalpowerbootcamp.com, you can click right here to do so. I'll talk to you there. It's Saturday night, Dallas, Texas, 1.30 a.m. You walk into a bar. This is a pretty intense bar. It's almost a bit of a club, not a place you'd normally find yourself.